testing one two all right <clears throat> so today's topic is about the uh, web driven as business owner so uh, i'm going to talk about uh what it takes to uh, as a programmer to become a business owner so you know because now uh, in market right what we call it's entrepreneurship so I think before you become the entrepreneurship, you need to understand what is a business about, right? Uh, the reason why, actually, you the more you hear, you will feel that uh, this is a lot of like common sense. But if you're asking some normal person, even a working person, right? Uh, you ask them what is all about business, they can answer you quite a lot of, uh, you think it's a very good idea, very good thoughts but when it go to a real business there's a lot of things that uh, you need to be uh, consider and also to understand about the situation uh, whether is uh, regarding your business or regarding your your market so there's a lot of things that you need to know and not just know is that uh, you need to uh, put a lot of uh, this kind of uh, what we say is practice to uh, to get the result that you wanted, right? So first of all, um, you know, because today this topic actually I wanted it to cover the um, the overview of uh, all my um, assisting uh, from my client or even from uh, where I started and until uh, uh, the point that I am right now. So, so basically, if if you have read a lot of uh, articles on the internet, you will find out that uh, there's a lot of initiative that helping businesses or startup uh, in the early stage, right? But sometimes we will feel that. That is just um, uh, not enough. Well, it's a very, very common feeling is that uh, because as an entrepreneur or as business owner, we always ask for more. That is our initial, uh, initial behavior as a business owner because, you know, uh, if you started a business today, you, uh, I would say that um, you're going to only earn like 500 you ask for more. That is a very, very, very common uh, uh, behavior of a business owner, right? But before that, right, you need to think about your solution that provided to customer. Is your customer needs your solutions or no, right? So basically, I won't tell you how is it because it's so broad. Like if you are account, you are in uh, accounting business. So your customer need is different. If you in IT industry, your customer needs is different. So you need to know what is your customer needs, and not just fulfill whatever they are asked for. You need to know why they wanted that. Like let's say for example, uh, some of my clients they will come and ask me, uh, do you do Facebook? Uh, posting, uh, do you do uh, like uh, the content write up and this kind of stuff, right? Yeah, obviously, for the web development firm, we didn't do that. We actually will collaborate with different uh, agencies, like for example, some digital marketing agencies. So, even digital marketing agency, they will collaborate with uh, different. Uh, contain companies like, for example, the photographers. So to t to took uh, to take uh, good photos of the customer products, or if let's say some of the uh, resources might come from online, like for example Shutterstock. Uh, so actually, it's it's a very broad uh, uh, business model for when you talking about from tran traditional to come on board to. Uh, digitalize your business so for so initially if you already thought to uh, start your business now right it is uh, 
very crucial that you need to understand. You really need to understand what is your customer needs, right? So like I, like I mentioned just now, the uh, example I, that I bring up is uh, when we do web development, we, we get all sort of uh, inquiries from the customer. So as a business owner, you would think like, oh, actually that's a good money to earn also. So I would like to ask the customer, yeah, why not? Well, we do, we do provide. So you see that that's a very um, common risk that uh, a business owner would take. So but before you say yes, right, do you, do you uh, already plan ahead what you want to offer to your customer or uh, you know how to find that uh, there's that kind of resources. So I know even even like let's say you are in uh, you are very experienced in doing business, right? Because traditional business is the reason call is is uh, tra traditional means there's a lot of things, right? Is uh, quite fixed. The only thing that's flexible is the business owner himself. So. In that circumstances, if you are trying to uh, convert yourself from traditional to digitalized, the first thing you need to tell yourself is you need to let go your traditional mindset so and go digital mindset. So what is it about digital mindset, right? Digital mindset is not just about uh, transforming everything become digital. It's not about it's not about okay now I'm uh, traditionally I'm using paper to write uh, records my uh, my to do list or whatsoever then I use a uh, Google Keep so it's not just that way it's mindset that uh, you transfer your energy onto using the same method but in a modern ways so it's a very tough uh, journey to to do so. So uh, I will encourage most of the business owner, right? Um, if you have these uh, difficulties to transform yourself from the traditional uh, mindset to the uh, digitalized mindset or, or modern mindset, right? So I will encourage that uh, go more uh, actively uh, join some digital course. So some of the courses uh, you can take in the market uh, is, is quite a lot, right? Like for example, Udemy, like for example, Han Academy, or even this one is international platform. If you are come from, like myself, come from Malaysia, there's a major initiative. There are SITEC. SITEC is from uh, Selangor. So, and also uh, some of the, uh, 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 organization like JCI, BNI, they are all kinds of uh, this uh, knowledge platform that is provided to the market for uh, anytime you want to tra transform your mindset, right? So, so this is the soft skill part. So, so what next, right? Okay, after you gear up yourself with all kind of uh, different. Uh, thoughts and different kind of uh, soft skills. So next, you need to know your hard skill. So hard skill is uh, basically is how do you uh, operate uh, those softwares? Uh, how do you uh, control uh, uh, or manage a project? So like, for example, you, you can manage your project through Trello or you can use a Kanban if you if you have a team, right? You you definitely need all this because this will help your team to focus on what they need to do, to do, and they will know that oh, this is the progress I've in, and now the next step is what. So it's easy for them to focus on what they want to do. So so what is what else that uh, uh, a uh, business owner should think about when you transforming your uh, traditional business to these online digital businesses is that uh, 
don't scare of trying those uh, online tools that is uh, someone introduced you because most of the uh, person that I encounter they uh, they have a lot of experience in doing traditional business they have this common uh, behavior where uh, when you introduce some of the uh, tools that might help them or benefit benefited them they will say yes then eventually they will like take quite a long time to eventually go and touch or try to use it or they are like, like uh, waiting someone to teach them but you, but you know if you come from a traditional business you know you know that most of the people doing business they won't have so much time to cater for you and teach you it is this is in a crucial way, right? It's the same way when you do traditional business, you won't spend a lot of time in one single customer. You will, you will allocate your times, right? As actually, all the basic in, uh, knowledge on the traditional business, the mindset is actually applicable to the digital businesses as well. So you just need to uh, switch your anger differently so that you can adapt to the situation of uh, this digital digitalization so this is what i'm trying to talk about if if you are a uh, traditional traditional business uh, this is what you need to think of so um i hope that i not really uh, far away from my topic because today, today's my today's topic is talk about uh, if you are a web developer so what kind of business mindset that you should have actually like i have shared just now is exactly what i did as a web developer or a web development uh, company business owner or founder uh, when i try to op uh, operate my uh, my web page that is why i try to learn from these traditional businesses and some of the traditional business owner, they really have this uh, very good mindset. They only, they really open up themselves to learn. And some of them is just very, very traditional business, like even a noodle store or uh, uh, very small businesses that uh, only operate in Pasamalam. Also, they will open up themselves to listen what I'm trying to share them. So, uh, so the key the key point is you need to be open right so even uh you have to be uh very active in in uh, yourself to learn and use the tools that is provided to you and is uh, accessible uh, uh, from you so as a web developer or a, a web development firm uh, business owner right you need to stand in the point of your client to understand why they are so stubborn and why they are so eager to uh, not listen to your uh, uh, advice or consultants because they might stand, come from an angle that uh, most of their clients, because right, for when we do website to supply the business owner, actually the business owner, they need to supply the system that you do for them and supply to the users. So you cannot put a lot of uh, your own perspective, your own thoughts into the project when you try to develop the system. Okay, this is the key point. And you, you also have to stand in the same angle as your client, which is the business owner, to provide the business to the client, not you. So because you you need to learn how the user behavior in the market as well so this is what, what i'm trying to to uh, do uh, along this uh, uh, journey when i'm building up our web page right so it's it's not easy because uh, you need to fulfill customer needs and you need to fulfill customers' clients' needs. That is the um, 
point where you have to multitask your brain, your brain to uh, think uh, simultaneously uh, to build your system. So it's not easy because uh, for there is a common mistake that uh, most of the web developer developer would do is that I want to perfect perfect my system. So this this I will ask the customer to uh, wait. We haven't finished. There's still something that uh, we want to complete. So you need to ask yourself uh, whether is it uh, when you do project planning there's something miss out, or is it that um, you forgot to focus on what to deliver to your customer. This is the very important things that uh, you need to come back to yourself and to understand it, right? So this is very, very important. And uh, so it's almost to the end of my sharing because, uh, you know, I don't want this session to be very draggy. And if you wanted to learn a lot more from uh, my sharing, you are welcome to go to my uh, company website, webbypage.com, uh, or you can go and Google search uh, webbypage, uh, W-E-B-B-Y-P-A-G-E. And also you can follow my personal website, uh, brandon.my, brandon.my. So uh, I will post uh, most of my videos on uh, tutorials and workshop or sharing on my YouTube channel as well. So I hope that uh, this video session is uh, going to be benefited to you and uh, to most of the users that uh, you wanted to provide. Because this topic, if you if you come to this topic, right, uh, as a web developer, uh, no, you're doing web development as a business owner. So what kind of mindset do you need to have? So this is uh, the part of it that uh, there's the most essential dots of it, right? The mindset. So you, as a digitalized person, right? You will request your customer that have digitalized mindset. So you also need to tell yourself, you need to have tra traditional mindset as well, you know? Because uh, for 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 guys like us, we we always chase for uh, uh, new technologies, right? So, is it is common that we will forget how traditional ways work, and eventually we, when we provide our solution to our customer, they will feel pressure and they will feel uh un, and unable to understand your point of view. So you need to step back a little bit and try to use a traditional mindset to understand what actually your customer is thinking about. So that's it. This is uh, what I um, uh, hope this session can give you. So remember to follow my page. Yeah. Uh, I think we, we will see, see each other again in the next section. All right. Thank you. Bye.